how's it going i just decided i would film this week i have a bunch of work to do this week that'll be kind of exciting maybe to see i uh, i don't know i just did my makeup I think I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna go to the mall because I'm out of a lot of my makeup and a lot of skincare. So we're gonna go to Sephora. And then I saw these jeans on the Aritzia website. There's a pair of Levi's. So I'll probably see if they have them at Aritzia or at the Levi's store. And then I'm gonna hang out with Robin later. That's kind of what today is gonna be. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do some reading. I'll definitely, I'll have a kind of an early night tonight do some reading. I've been reading Rouge by Mona Awad and I think I'm only like 20 pages in and I'm obsessed with it already. It's so good. Okay, let's go get dressed. I feel like my makeup today is so autumnal because I used the Clinique Black Honey lipstick balm thing and it's so nice. Like I really do understand why everyone was obsessed with it and it sold out everywhere. It's a really good lip color. I ended up taking off the lip color because it just kind of looked funny with what I'm wearing. I'm wearing like a pretty casual outfit, but I'll just show you what I have on. Okay, I'm just wearing my red boots, my Levi's. I don't know what kind of Levi's these are. They're like a mid-rise. And then just this big shirt that I thrifted from Salvation Army. My cow sweater. It's my favorite. It's wool, so it's super warm. And then my tote that I always use. Yeah, I'm just gonna get on the bus. Oh, I forgot to put perfume on, Kate. I'm gonna wear this one today. I was so close to getting out the door and then I realized that I haven't even eaten anything today. So I'm just gonna eat a cold piece of pizza and then we're actually gonna go. Winnipeg transit is so bad that I'm gonna walk home for like 40 minutes in the rain. Here we go. from Sephora I kind of went off I did not need to do that like some of the things I needed some of them I did not need at all but I'm gonna show you them first I'll show you the things I needed so I needed a toner and I got this Ola Hemrickson this balancing force oil control toner my t-zone is so oily that whenever I put makeup on specifically my nose and my chin within an hour of applying it my the oils on my skin just break down all of the makeup completely and so i'm really 
putting in a conscious effort to figure out why that's happening or not even why but like just figuring out how to rectify that because it's so annoying and hopefully this kind of helps then i got some hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and i got this to mix with this 100% niacinamide powder, which is also supposed to help with acne prone skin and excess oil. So basically this is like a powder and it just mixes in with the hyaluronic acid and it becomes kind of like this two-in-one serum. It's like hydrating, but it's also oil controlling. I got a salicylic acid solution. This I didn't necessarily need to get, but I thought it could be good. Just like another oil controlling thing. And then I thought I would just try out, <laughs> this is another salicylic acid product. It's this Paula's Choice Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Robin has this. She's told me that it's really good. I figured I would just try it. It's like a, it's a baby size. It's mini. And I needed a primer. So I got the MAC Studio Fix. This is the 12 hour shine control primer that I'm basically just planning to put on my nose and my forehead and my chin and then I'll just like leave the rest of my face kind of like glowy when I do my makeup but hopefully this will help with all of my grease. And now here are the things that I really didn't need but they're fun. Okay, I got this MAC lip pencil in this really deep kind of chocolatey brown and then I got this Kosas, this weightless lip color in rich warm brown so also just like really deep brown um which is just fun for autumn i just thought they could be cute i did not need them but i got them yeah i just have a little bit of work to do for school i have to write it's like this kind of like fake well it's not really fake it's an actual review for an exhibition that i went to this past week at a gallery and so i have to write that it's just a school assignment and then once I finish that, which shouldn't take me too long, I think I'm gonna go to the thrift store. I'm gonna go to Value Village. That's what we're gonna be doing. can't believe it like I took the bus to Value Village and then I had to take an uber home because I found so much good stuff I just have to show you okay so this thing is supposed to be a little vase but it perfectly fits the coffee filters that I use for my pour over and they look so much better than the dumb plastic bag that I was keeping them in on my counter then I also found this little bowl god the lighting in here is so bad but it's just a perfect little bowl to keep my keys in it's so good I got this painting or drawing or mm, don't totally know what it is, but the animal is an emu and I really like it. When I saw these, I kind of freaked out because I have this painting that my Nana got in Mexico a really long time ago. Joni, please. Anyway, they match this other painting that I have perfectly. I'm planning to get them reframed and I'll get new mats for them because I don't really like the way that these look, but just look at this. They match this perfectly, which I've had forever. I also found this dress, which is just a little bit too big on me, but I think I can do something with it to make the size work. This might be my favorite thing that I found. I got this sweater, it's wool. I found it in the men's section. I feel like this isn't really doing it justice, but it's like a perfect, perfect fall sweater. I also found a copy of A Little Life, which I read years ago, and I have no intention to reread, but I gave my copy away and I just wanted a new one. Or not a new one, because it was secondhand, but you know what I mean. As you've all probably noticed, I do this thing where I'll hyperfixate on a specific restaurant or a specific food from a restaurant, and then that's the only place that I'll order food from for weeks and weeks and weeks. And that's what I've done again today. I ordered a bunch of noodles and I'll just show you. I always get this cucumber salad, then I got a wonton soup, I got peanut noodles, and then just a beef broth because I like to add it to the peanut noodles. I always justify doing this because I'll eat all this food over the course of like two days. 
So I get a lot of meals out of it, like at least two lunches and two dinners. I don't really eat breakfast, but next week I'm gonna actually cook more. It's so good. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I have to go to bed a little bit early because I guess I didn't tell you guys, I started working for my friend Chloe. She opened a bakery. So I'm just working at the front of the bakery, just like doing the cash for her on weekends. And I kind of have to get up a little bit early-ish. So yeah, the rest of this night is gonna be very chill. I'm just gonna be reading Rouge by Mona Wad. I'm gonna try to finish it tonight. And that's kind of gonna be the rest of my evening. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.